Good morning and hello whenever you see this, people. I am up early on Friday, the 17th of February. Just want to respond a little bit. Um, cheers, everyone. Um, I'm just waking up and so um, we'll just let it fly. Um, there's always a mixture on my mind of, of stuff and partly Anger and irritation are always there, so just be forewarned, okay? <laughs> the reason why I'm saying it like that is because yesterday, when I look at comments, and I appreciate comments, I do. When people try to message me, I don't read the messages. A long time ago, I got just started getting some weird messages, so I just stopped looking at the messages. It just it was just like leave a comment on the actual video. If you want to communicate with me, I'll read the comment. I don't go to the messages. But I got a message yesterday regarding the um, the immigrant uh, employee walkouts. Someone saying that they wish that I had said something. And I want to respond to that, which is it's interesting that that comment comes right after I showed and talked about the book, The Fifth Agreement. See, the deal is, people, everyone, no, let me, let me just put it like this, because number one, I am in solidarity with all my brothers and sisters. Um, the people that walked out of their jobs yesterday uh, protesting um, uh, Trump's um, uh, handling of immigration, I support them. Um, the, it's absurd what's going on. The people who are talking about kicking immigrants out came and stole this country from the people who, who were here in the first place. So all of it is madness in the first place to me. But here's what I have to say. The immigrant walkout wasn't on my mind. And I care about those people, but n not being an immigrant, it's not heavy on my mind and I'm not doing anyone's agenda but mine. This is my channel, and I'll say what's on my mind. And if you come here loading your plate with expectations about what you'll get from me, I'm going to disappoint you because I'm not doing your agenda. I'm doing mine. Brings me to another comment where a person lamented um, that I don't seem to appreciate rap more. I don't talk about it, and what I say about it, you can make a deduction about what I think about it, but those are only the words you heard here. You don't know what I think about the music of my most direct people, okay? All right? It's like, and 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 the idea of, people keep asking me, what about, what about, what about? And it's like, haven't you got the message at people. I hoover music like a vacuum cleaner all my life. I have heard of practically all of the main, what I consider mainstream artists. That includes everyone from Depeche Mode to the Pet Shop Boys. All this stuff that's happened, I've been watching music history, continue to watch it, okay? And when someone asks me about Gil Scott Heron, are you kidding? Do you, you have to ask me what I think about that? What? That's irritation. It's like, that just is almost like, that's almost like a uh, poking a, a kid in the side with a stick. It's like, are you kidding me? You you have to ask me? But maybe you haven't watched enough videos. If you watch enough of my videos, you'll start to get a get an idea, I think, you know, about the fact that I like, I like things that are, I like, I like it. If it's good, it's good. I'll acknowledge if something is good, even if I don't like it. Like, for example, well-made country music. Or... For example, one of America's most hated bands, I can't stand them, but I'll give them props because they're a good band, Nickelback. They're a good band. They're, they're mediocre. Their approach to music, what they do with it is, is I think it's just really horrible, like bread that has no taste. But, but are they a good band? Yeah, actually, Nickelback is a good band. So, just kind of a, for me, I do this kind of as a, a 
to clear the air for myself because I like doing I like to come on here and talk when I want to but I'm just telling you it's just human nature that people just ex want you to do what they want you to do people ex well if you're my friend you do this for me and that <clears throat> all of that kind of thinking in my mind is very juvenile unenlightened and having knowledge information like the four and the five agreements have really helped me to to clear that mess up we all think we know but we know nothing i don't know all i know is my experience so i share it with you but i'm never telling you i know i don't I just know what i experience so when you come telling me you know i'm already on to you you don't know nothing i don't know nothing either okay all you know is your experience you know and when we die our experience is gone what does that tell you okay all right so uh thanks for enjoying my spirit but i will not be having people come here telling me what to do and <clears throat> a comment about steely dan the reason why I have all Steely Dan records and they're in the closet is because they're good musicians, but that music sounds like I'm in a bar. And I don't, the only reason why I go to a bar is to play. It's, I'll, if, if, if I had to try to tell you what, so if you want to know what I'd like to hear more of or what interests me is stuff that sticks out. Um, <clears throat> recently I heard, I don't have their records, but a band that I heard got turned myself onto in recent times that I think is really good and is an, ex is an example of something I find interesting is the band Three Trapped Tigers. It's an instrumental band. Um, <clears throat> they're described as math rock. I hate labels, okay? I'm not into math rock. I'm not into soul. I'm not into rap. I'm into good music. And this band, Three Trap Tigers, which I played on Roots of Electric Jazz yesterday, blew my partner Paul, Paul Allen's mind. He had never heard it before, blew his mind. He actually played it a second time after I left the station. I went home and <clears throat> was listening. He played it again. It blew his mind so much. Yeah, that's an example of something that impresses me. I've showed you the band Sid Arthur. What they're doing impresses me. It's original. It's original. There's another band, I think they're from Australia, who the music more than the vocals impressed me. Hiatus, Coyote, I've mentioned them before, okay? And when it comes to rap and hip hop, I love my people, but I'm 61 years old, I'm not a kid. And so there's a lot of rap that just pisses me off. It's so stupid and misogynistic and the kids don't even realize how they've been co-opted by the elite, by the, the corporation. In order for you to make money, you must denigrate your women. You must talk bad about yourself. You must trash society. And that's what a lot of the most popular hip hop does. But one of the <clears throat> recent hip hop records that I really like is YG's Fuck Donald Trump, part one and two. I sure do. I like what they're saying. I like the way they're saying it too. Okay? Um, but I know my history about hip-hop, you know, and if you were here at the house, if I go through my CD stacks and also my DVD stacks and show you all the episodes of MTV raps that I watched and taped, watched it go down in real time, I've got a lot of classic hip hop from the Fugees to um, uh, Pete Rock and uh, you know I forget because I'm not listening to it. So come on, people, you know, um, you know, be cool and um, try to understand. You know, try to understand. You know, the other thing I, I've I've said often, you know, is that. Rather than come over here and try to have me talk about stuff, um, if you have something to say, you get on here and you say it. <laughs> you say your piece. Okay? All right? Say your piece. Um, I could go through records, but I really wanted to say that. You know, I really just, you know, 
I want y'all to understand that I love you, and and we are all brothers and sisters in my mind. That's the other thing that I was talking about on uh, Facebook yesterday is, I know that it's human nature that we take sides. It's human nature that we have tribes, you know, even though man, man and existence is one thing, because we live on this physical level, and there'll be people from the east and people from the west and people that lived in the forest and people who lived by the desert and will have these differences. And if we happen to come across each other, we may find an accord, but we'll also rub against each other because of these differences. This is, this is nature. But I say this, if, it, if we have the kernel of wisdom in our mind to, to know that we can rise above those differences, <clears throat> that we can manage those differences without having to be at each other's throats, then it's worth striving for. And that's the philosophy that I'm living by, which is the family of man truly is one. There are many differences between the ethnic groups, etc., etc., but we're still people. And it is possible. It is possible that we can get along, but it has to be taught. That's the thing going up to a higher level rather than being on the base animal level of just survival and me first and fight my enemies, going to a higher level of harmony and accord takes work and it takes education. And that ball has been dropped. So I'm going to keep on talking like this because it is within our capability to grow together and become smarter and appreciate one another's differences without um, having to want to destroy them. Okay, Donald Trump and his entire administration and this whole idea of left versus right, all of it, it's just fucked. The idea that being conservative versus liberal, like that really anymore has any value that we can, we can grow from. I'm telling you, I'm ahead of y'all. That, that stuff is dead. We're going to, we're going to run ourselves into the ground. Well, we are doing this because we can't seem to wake up to a higher sense which is we are actually all connected and we would all benefit from waking up to that reality <clears throat>